How should you greet and thank your audience without distracting from a compelling opening? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. One of my biggest challenges, and in all candor, one of my biggest frustrations with clients is convincing them to stop thanking people with the first words they say in a presentation. We have been conditioned to be pleasant and nice to every audience we speak to, and that's a problem. Not, not trying to be nice, <laughs> but the issue is when you stand up in front of a group and the first words out of your mouth are, thank you, great to be here, terrific weather, whatever what, what my coach calls unpleasant pleasantries, you begin to position yourself as just like every other presenter. Think about what's going on in the minds of the audience when you're being introduced. What are they thinking about? Well, the answer to that question is it could be a thousand things. They literally could be thinking about you, hope you're a good speaker. They might be thinking about the last presenter. They could be thinking about what they want to have for lunch. What, what their dinner plans are, what, what, which one of them has to take the kids to soccer. I mean, all these things can be going through their head, but they are going to start focusing on you at some point. And when you stand in front of a group and the first words out of your mouth are the thank yous and the, the unpleasant pleasantries, at some level they're thinking, oh, I've heard this before. Now, is that fair? No, but it's a reality. If you sound like every other presenter with your first words, they're immediately positioning you that way. How can you show your gratitude without positioning yourself like everyone else? We've talked about this in other videos. You use an opening story, a, a startling statement, a quote, a question. Orient the audience to what they're about to hear and then thank them. When I tell my opening story about, and you've heard this many times if you watch my videos, about being in my manager's office and he says, fix this or else because my, my presentations are so bad, I orient the audience that this is going to be a presentation about speaking skills, business storytelling skills, or becoming a better presenter. And then I say, oh, by the way, I want to thank you so much for the opportunity to be here today. Looking forward to sharing this wisdom with you that I've gained from my coaches. Something like that. I don't want you to misunderstand my point here. It's not about being rude or not being grateful. Just don't do it with your first words. More important to me as a coach is I don't want to see you dig yourself into a hole that's harder to get out of because people immediately are saying, oh, you're just like every other presenter. Try this method of thanking them after your opening and watch your connection go much deeper and still feel good about thanking them for giving you the opportunity to present. Talk with you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.